Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Instinct and welcome back to another video. First video here for LEGO Jurassic World, of course. We have done multiple streams and this will be the first video. Um, of course, if you are watching this video, you should have hopefully watched um, the uh, LEGO Jurassic World 100% levels 1 through 3. And hopefully you would be referred back to this video at that point and been keeping a lookout. So you might be wondering, why are we in the Lost World section of the Hub World? Well, what we are doing today is we're doing a quick little video on where to get the Compi Amber, because we need it for a lot of the 100% stuff in this game so far. We've done it, you needed it twice, and we haven't had it. One including in the second level of Jurassic Park. So what we're going to do is jump into the level that it is in, which is right, should be over here, Engine Arrival. I do not know how we missed this. Um, it's going to be a very quick one to jump into. We're going to jump into Mobile Lab. Uh, we're going to use any sort of character here. It doesn't really matter who we use. Um, it was a very quick Amber. I don't know how we missed it. Here's another fascinating. So we're going to quickly just jump in here. We're going to grab it. And then we are going to jump back into um, Jurassic Park section. And we're going to get the, uh, crap, did I do the wrong? No, I just, I think I just have to climb up this. No, I have to switch characters, okay. So, it is right here. Um, the point being is, I guess I can't climb onto it at this, okay, there we go. The Amber is right on top of the truck. I don't know how we missed that. I guess we just weren't paying attention, but that is gonna be it for that. We're gonna go ahead and return. Um, course it's not going to be much of a completion of that level we will of course go back when we get to those levels and we will fully complete that level uh, but for now we just had to stop by get the amber which here is the compass of Nogathus, whatever however you say it basically the compi and it's going to help us with most of the tasks in the game it is the basically the only dinosaur in the game that you technically do need for 100 percent completion of the game so now that we have done that, what we are going to do next is we are going to... Okay, never mind. I seem to have messed up and did not... I don't have that map point discovered. So I guess what we're going to do is quickly run back to um, the little uh, hub section or the beginning section with the boats. I apologize. I apologize for not making the map marker, but of course we haven't started this side and I'm trying to do the map markers as we go if that makes any sense I'm trying to do all the map markers as we go down the line we will just hop in the Jurassic Park responder of course we will get um, some new stuff going but for now we'll just hop in this vehicle to drive our way down but the basic point is um, the copy is just about the only dinosaur that you need in the game to basically 100% complete because you basically get everything else just by playing the story, the rest of the dinosaurs you need, I think just by playing the story or just barely even looking around. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit this boat right here to go back to the Jurassic Park section of the hubs. We're going to go to the Jurassic Park hub and we are going to go back into the second level. We are going to quickly grab that mini kit and then we will leave. You will see the skeleton version of the dinosaur for that mission and we will wrap it up. So we are looking, I think, for this one right here. Welcome to Jurassic Park. We're going to jump into free play. Uh, we're looking for the raptor enclosure and we are going to need our good friend, the comp sogging of this thing. It's the only dinosaur who can go through these little tunnels, so that's why we needed You'll to go ahead and get him. Fat just down there. And I'll be honest with you, I thought he was in the Jurassic World section. Turns out he was in the he was in the Lost World section. So if we were to, we I guess we wouldn't have had to wait so long, but we still had to wait a long time. Now, if you did watch the stream, you would know we already 100% this level. So all we have to do is go down here, walk right in here, and we have a little puzzle. It seems we're going to solve just by pressing a few buttons and just like so the mini kit will come out right there and we can go ahead and collect it and that is going to wrap up every collectible for this level we can save and exit 
And that is going to wrap up Welcome to Jurassic Park. Once again, I apologize for not getting the compi sooner so that the stream would look pretty clean, but it is okay because I made up for it by making this video. And this is going to come out, I think, right after because I'm going to start uploading this as soon as I'm done. But if you could tell, it's going to show up here in a minute. But if you could tell before, of course... Okay, maybe it's not. We do get a gold brick for mini kit. But if you could tell, it was, of course, the skeleton version of the Triceratops. Um, I don't know why it didn't show up, that it unlocked. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Of course, uh, thank you all for watching once again. Keep in tune for this Wednesday for uh, another part of the LEGO Jurassic World uh, Jurassic Park LBA. If it's not this Wednesday, then of course you will see me on Friday um, for another God of War Ragnarok part. And then you should see me back on the weekend for this because I do have an exam this Wednesday. So thank you all for watching and I will see you guys uh, later. Hold on, wrong button. I will see you guys later. Goodbye guys.